In example B, a company produces Italian sausages and bratwursts at plants in Green Bay and Sheboygan. The hourly production rates at each plant are given in the table. How many hours should each plant operate to exactly fill an order for 62,250 Italian sausages and 76,500 bratwursts? And then you get this ta table with the uh, necessary information, okay? Again, read through the problem thoroughly, understand what you're given, and what you're trying to try to figure out what you're looking for before proceeding with the video. Okay, first thing we need to do to solve this problem, we've got to set up our system of equations, but before we can do that, we've got to define the variables. What are we looking for? Okay, again, look in the last sentence. Okay, how many hours should each plant operate? Okay. So remember, there's two plants. There's the Green Bay plant and there's the Sheboygan plant. We need to know how many hours each plant needs to operate, okay? So we're gonna let X be the number of hours the Green Bay plant should operate. And then we're gonna let Y be the number of hours the Sheboygan plant should operate. All right, so those are our variables. Okay, so now we need to set up our system of e or our two equations. Since we have two variables, we're gonna need two equations, okay? So again, what else is circulating in the problem? The variables took care of Green Bay and Sheboygan. What else do you see in the problem, okay? Well, I see the other two ideas of Italian sausage and bratwurst, okay? So that's where the equations are gonna come from, okay? One is gonna come from Italian sausage, the other one is going to come from bratwurst. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back through the problem. Okay. And we're going to first start with the Italian sausage. Okay. And try to figure out, you know, underline all the information that we need for Italian sausage. Okay. All right. So what we know from the written part is that the order needs to have 62,250 Italian sausages that the, you know, we, that the order has in it. Um, and then if you look at the table, that's where you have a lot of the, the numbers here. You need to look at the Italian sausage column, okay? So remember what this table is telling you. The table is telling you the hourly production rates at each plant. So what this is saying, this is an hourly rate. The Green Bay plant can make 800 Italian sausages per hour. Okay, and the Sheboygan plant can make 500 uh, Italian sausages per hour. Okay, it's an hourly rate. Okay, so again, um, the Italian sausages are gonna come, you know, some are gonna come from Green Bay, some are gonna come from Sheboygan, but the order has to have a total of 62,250 uh, Italian sausages. Okay, so that's gonna be the right side of the equation. Okay, so again, on the left side, we're gonna be adding the amount of Italian sausages from Green Bay plus the amount of, of uh, Italian sausages that come from Sheboygan, okay? All right, so let's deal with Green Bay, okay? We know that Green Bay, that plant can produce 800 Italian sausages per hour and it's gonna operate for X many hours, okay? So 800 Italian sausages per hour and it's gonna operate for X many hours, okay? So that's gonna give us 800 times X. That's gonna be how many Italian sausages are produced by the Green Bay plant, okay? Similar thing for Sheboygan. The Sheboygan plant is going to produce 500 Italian sausages per hour, and Sheboygan is gonna operate for Y many hours, okay? Um, so the number of Italian sausages produced by Sheboygan is gonna be 500 times Y, okay? 
So there is your first equation, okay? Number of, of Italian sausages produced from the Green Bay plant plus the number of Italian sausages produced by the Sheboygan plant has to equal a total of 62,250 Italian sausages, okay? We're gonna do the same kind of thing for bratwurst, okay? Look back in the problem, okay? What information do you see about bratwursts? Well, we're gonna need a total of 76,500, okay? So that's what's gonna go on the right side, okay? And then you're gonna to have to go to the table to get your bratwurst information, okay? The Green Bay plant can produce 800 bratwursts per hour and, one th and Sheboygan can produce 1,000 bratwursts per hour, okay? So again, we're gonna to have to add the number of bratwursts coming from Green Bay plus the number of uh, bratwursts coming from Sheboygan, and that should be the total bratwursts, okay? So let's go ahead and handle Green Bay. Green Bay plant can produce 800 bratwursts per hour. They are gonna run for X many hours. So 800 times X many bratwursts will come out of Green Bay, okay? And then we need to add the Sheboygan number Sheboygan can produce 1,000 bratwursts an hour, and Sheboygan is gonna run for Y many hours, okay? So that will yield a total of 1,000 times Y many bratwursts, okay? So number of bratwursts out of Green Bay plus the number of bratwursts out of Sheboygan equals the total amount of bratwursts in the order, okay? So this is your system, okay? Now we need to solve it. Okay, again, numbers are too big for graphing, okay? Numbers are probably too big for elimination. You'll end up with fractions possibly. Elimination is again gonna be your best bet, okay? If you notice, both equations have 800x, okay? So if we just multiply either of these equations by negative one, we can easily eliminate the x term, okay? So I will go ahead to solve this, okay, by elimination. I'm going to leave the first equation alone and then I am going to take the second equation and multiply it by negative one. All right, so let's see what that gives us. Okay, so the first equation will stay the same. And then we're gonna multiply the second equation by negative one so everything will turn negative. All right, and now we're gonna add, okay? So 800x plus a negative 800x, the x terms will cancel. Add your y's, okay? 500 minus 1,000 is gonna give us negative 500y, okay? That's gonna equal, let's do 62,250 minus 76,500. That's gonna give us negative 14,250, okay? So we can solve for y if we divide by negative 500. All right, and so Negative divided by negative will be positive, okay? And so this is going to give us y equals 28.5. Okay, so that is our y value, okay? Remember, um, if you had gotten a negative answer, that's not gonna make sense because remember what Y is representing, the number of hours that the plant needs to run, okay? So 28 and a half hours. All right, let's go ahead and get the X coordinate, okay? So I'm gonna go up here. Remember with elimination, we need to take this value and plug it into one of the original equations. It does not matter which one, okay? I'll just use the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna take 800X plus 500Y is equal to 62,250. We're gonna plug in the fact that the Y value has to be 28.5. Okay, so we're gonna get 800X plus 500 times 28.5 
is equal to 62,250, okay? And all right, so now we can solve this for x. So we're gonna get 800x plus, let's do 500 times 28.5. That's gonna give us 14,250 is equal to 62,250, okay? So we wanna isolate the 800x, so let's move the 14,250 over, okay? So we're gonna get 800x is equal to, let's punch this in the calculator, so 62,250 minus 14,250 is gonna give us 48,000, okay? And now if we want x, we divide both sides by 800, and we're gonna get that x equals 60, okay? So here is our solution to the system, okay? X has to be 60, y has to be 28.5, okay? And again, since this is a word problem, you need to write down the answer in terms of the original problem. Remember, x represented the number of hours the Green Bay plant should operate, and y represents the number of hours the Sheboygan plant should operate. Okay, so to fulfill the order, I'm gonna write the answer out here. So to fulfill the order, the Green Bay plant should operate for 60 hours and Sheboygan should run for 28 and a half hours. And that is your answer. You may have thought that 28 and a half was a weird answer because you got a decimal and you may have thought, oh, half of an Italian sausage or half of a bratwurst. Nope, remember the variables are representing number of hours. Okay, so 28 and a half hours is a sensible answer. Okay, so that is how you set this problem up and solve it and interpret it.